name's Joel Weldon, and I've been doing this for about nine years now, doing mixed martial arts. And I uh, wrestled in high school at Lowndes for four years. Well, I mean, the first person I'd have to mention is James, our instructor. I mean, yeah, he, <laughs> he's the one that made, sure, that made sure that we get in shape and we get the work done. Also, all my training partners, uh, that's, I'd say that's one of the biggest advantages that uh, I have in most of the fights that I go into is that we have a really tough group of guys and uh, the training partners that I have up here allow me to at least be a, a tough fighter. Yeah, we, we're really like a family up here. I mean, we definitely, when you train as hard as we, I mean, we, we support each other. We, when you train as hard together as we train, and you go through, you know, the hardcore sparring sessions and the conditioning. And you, and once you've been through a couple of fights with the guys and you go through that stress and the pressure doing that, you really, it, it bonds you. You know, I mean, it's uh, something that really brings you together and you definitely support each other because each one of you knows what you, you know, what you're getting ready for. Yes, my, my last fight plan went good. I. I had a I had a lot of experience on the on the opponent and uh, I felt like I should have stopped him, but I was able to execute pretty much everything I wanted to do in the fight, other than to finish the fight. Um, I really I've never got a submission, so I'd really like to pull off a submission. And I felt like that uh, that I could have submitted this guy, but he he turned out to be a little tougher on that than what I, than what I thought. But everything went pretty well. Um, the very beginning of the fight, um, I had a little sloppy. I made a bad takedown, and they actually almost caught me with a submission. But I, yeah, you know, I was able to get through it and get through that first part, and then I settled in, and I pretty much got my way. Truthfully, I train. My training is pretty consistent, so I, I mean, I, I train hard all the time. So it doesn't really change very much. I, there's a few techniques which I don't, I don't want to give away what I've been working on that I've been trying to consistently work on. Just some really simple stuff that I've been putting in there. I try to add a little something in that you know that I know I need to work on and do that you know on a regular basis. And that's the really the only difference. So I always train hard. So my conditioning is usually always really good. Well, that's a good question. How do I relax? Um, well, I. I try to hang out with my brothers some. We, you know, we, I don't know if it's really relaxing, but we watch a lot of MMA on television together. But, you know, it's, and we, you know, I, I make trips out to Wild Adventures and try to relax and, and, you know, try to have as much downtime as I can. In between training sessions, I try to really take it easy. Uh, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the main thing. I just, you know, when I'm off, I'm off. And, you know, when I'm training, I'm training hard. I try to, I try really, it's important, you know, because it's easy in this sport to overtrain. It's easy to do, and I, I'm one of those guys that I tend to feel like I've never done enough, and uh, you know that that can get you in trouble sometimes because you can do too much. So you have to really make sure that you get the rest, you know, and know how your body's feeling as you're going along. Always, um, Sunday is always a total off day for me. I don't do anything, anything physical on Sunday. I mean, it's totally, completely just nothing but relax. And that helps a lot. It helps recharge my batteries. Yes, I mean, I, I, I for some people, I, I, always, I, I do get nervous. And I don't believe that it's, it's, it's possible not to get nervous to some degree. I, I've seen some fighters that, have the expression and the and the attitude that they really look like that they're just happy that somebody's allowing them to go in there and do this. And they really don't look nervous, but it's hard for me to imagine anybody not being nervous. I mean, you're going out there in a dangerous situation. I mean, even though we have rules and we have referees, and you know, it's rare that anybody sustains a serious injury. But you know, in your mind, you always you tend to to see what could be the worst thing that might happen. But you know, I. I, I'm a Christian, so I, I pray and I, I always believe that God's going to protect me in whatever I do, so that, that, that does help me. When it comes up to fight time, I get into it. I think I find a mode where I just, you know, you realize that you, it's going to happen, you're going to do it, so you just kind of zone out and you go and, you know, you, 
you do it. The first fight I did, I was really super nervous. I mean, I really felt like a deer in the headlights. But I think more so in my other fights, I've gotten more to where I do kind of, kind of hit that zone to where it's like, okay, this is going to happen, and I just focus on the guy and you know go to it. The first few seconds of a fight, um, because I've had it, I've had it go both ways to where I came out strong and I started good. And then I ended up, and then I ended up, you know, the other guy ended up taking it to me. And I almost finished him and didn't quite do it, and he, he rallied back. And then, and then, you know, I've had it start off bad for me. Like even in this last fight, I mean, I got in a real bad situation right at the beginning, and against the guy that I didn't expect that to happen against. And I, but I was, you know, even though I was really worried because he was in a, he was in a good position to submit me, but you know, I was able to fight through it and. Uh, was able to rally back and so it's hard to say I mean there's always I mean the main thing with a fight you know that's one reason why you want your conditioning to be great because a fight if you stay in the fight you always have the opportunity to to win if you're there I mean if you're out if you if you're out of gas or you know if you're too tired to stop the guy from from taking it to you and finishing you then then you know you don't have any chance but even if you're getting beat you know, you've always got an opportunity to win. I mean, I, I've been in here in training situations getting it handed to me by somebody and then all of a sudden slip into a submission, you know, so it could happen any time. You, you fight a guy, but I think for most fighters, I know for myself, I, I understand what it takes to get out here and do this. And it's really, it's really a, a hard road. And uh, the work that you put in, put into this is, it's very difficult. So you learn to respect your opponent. You know that uh, that he's coming out there and he's 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 trying. He's doing the best he can. And you know you know you feel like he's trained hard and he's got the courage to come out to the ring and step in there and and you know put himself on the line. And uh, I respect anybody that's got the kind of courage to do that. Even though it's an option, you know, I mean, you don't have to do it, but it still requires courage. A lot of people don't understand just how, just what kind of courage it takes and if they've never got to the point right up to the fight. Once you hit up to, before that first fight, you, you start understanding that it's, you know, it's not exactly as, as easy, or not exactly, um, that, that it's a lot tougher to actually get yourself in that ring than what you would have thought just watching it in the couch. <laughs> MMA is, it's a team and an individual sport. I mean, I think in a lot of ways, I believe that it's as much a team sport as anything else. I mean, your, your, your training partners and your coaches, they can't physically help you in the ring when you're in there, but they do. They do physically help. If you don't have really good training partners and good coaches, you're not going to go very far to begin with. And uh, and when you're in the ring, you know any encouragement helps. You know I I love to have guys that I can hear in my corner. It's hard when you're fighting to hear anybody in the corner, but it does help. Anything that you hear from your corner man, just to know to just to know that you're there and somebody's in your corner, it does it does lift you up. And uh, well, I actually I don't know who I'm fighting. In this fight, all I can ever say, I mean, my preparation is always the same. And all I can say is I always come out to fight. And I'm going to bring it to you. I'm coming in there and I'm always in great shape. And I train hard and I train with a group of tough guys. So I'm going to be rugged. I've been in some tough fights. And uh, it's going to be a fight.